A truck is going down a mountainous hill when its brakes begin to fail. The truck uses the next available escape route by turning into a runaway ramp. The truck decelerates from a speed of 40 meters per second to a complete stop in 8 seconds. Now this particular ramp has a constant upward slope of 30 degrees. Our goal in this problem is to calculate the horizontal and vertical components of the average acceleration of the truck. So let's begin with a picture. So imagine if you're driving down a mountain and if your brakes begin to fail, I mean, you could accelerate very fast down this mountain, which could be dangerous. Now, sometimes when you're driving in these mountains, you'll see a runaway truck ramp. So you can turn off from the main road into a truck ramp that will basically slow down the truck as the truck goes up. Gravity is going to do the work to slow down the truck. So let's say this is the car on the main road going down the hill. And here we have a truck that is going down a hill, but the brakes aren't working. So it needs to get off this downward hill. So instead, what this truck is going to do is going to turn into this ramp, go up, and it's going to use gravity to slow it down. We're going to calculate that deceleration of the truck and the components. So let's put the truck here. So this is going to be my truck picture. Now, how can we calculate the acceleration of the truck? What formula can we use? The acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time. So it's V final minus V initial over T. We know that the truck decelerates from a speed of 40 meters per second to a complete stop in eight seconds. So the final velocity is going to be zero because it's going to go to a complete stop. The initial velocity was 40 and it's going to go from 40 to zero in eight seconds. So this is negative 40 over eight, which gives us an average acceleration of negative five meters per second squared. Now we need to use this to get the components of the acceleration, the X component and the Y component. So right now, gravity is slowing the truck down. It's causing the truck to decelerate. But how can we find the X component of the acceleration vector and the Y component of the acceleration vector? In order to find the X and Y components of any vector, all you need is the magnitude of that vector and the angle. So right now, let's draw this but as a triangle. So we have a slope of 30 degrees relative to the horizontal. And basically, I just drew a triangle here. But now, in this triangle, the acceleration is in that direction. It's going in the, you could say, the southwest direction or down the hill. So that's A. Now A has an X component, which is directed to the left, and it also has a Y component, which is going down. So here is our vector A. Here is the X component, and here is the Y component. Now we have the angle 30 degrees. So if we want to calculate the X component using SOHCAHTOA, the X component is going to be the acceleration times cosine theta. The Y component of the acceleration is going to be A sine theta. So 
So if we type in negative 5 times cosine of 30, that's going to give us the x component of the vector. which is negative 4.33. Now, if you don't have the negative sign, you need to add it because the x component of the acceleration is in the negative x direction. So that should be negative. Now, to get a y, it's simply going to be negative 5 times sine of 30. Sine 30 is 1 half. So multiply that by negative 5. That's going to be negative 2.5 meters per second. So that's how we could determine the x and y components of the acceleration that's acting on a truck that is trying to escape from the downward hill by turning into the runaway truck ramp. Now I have a question I want to ask you the viewer and feel free to post your answer in the comment section below but while driving I don't know if you've ever driven on a mountain before, but have you ever seen a truck use the runaway truck ramp before? Feel free to post your experiences in the comment section below uh, if you want to. By the way, for those of you who want more physics problems similar to this, check out my videos on kinematics, free fall physics, and projectile motion. Likely, those are the topics that will be covered in your first exam if you're taking physics in college. So feel free to take a look at that. You can type those topics in a YouTube search bar. So if you type in projectile motion, organic chemistry tutor, it should come up. What you'll find on YouTube are the free versions of those videos, which could be 20, 30 minutes long. The full versions, which could be an hour or two hours long, depend on which particular video you're planning on watching. You could access that on my YouTube membership program or in my Patreon membership program. So for instance, if you were to type in kinematics organic chemistry tutor in the YouTube search box, you're going to get access to the free version of the kinematics video. But if you were to check the description section below that video, you'll get access to links that'll take you to the full version of that video. For those of you who might be interested or if you have a test in one of those topics, the full version is going to have a lot more practice problems that's designed to help you pass your exam. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And if I don't forget to, I should be posting those links in the description section below this video. Thanks for watching.